Today what we're going to do, Al, is I, I want to share with the folks exactly what the benefits and features of our uh, Raven backpack vacuum are. And my thought is, is we want to make it as interesting and as informative as possible. So I'd really like to represent sort of the end user, if you will, and uh, we'll call upon Al's expertise and give him as hard a time as possible to demonstrate to us why this is the premier backpack in the industry. So Al, you want to get started? Absolutely. Uh, well, as you're aware, we have a six quart and a 10 quart uh, backpack. Mm -hmm. Difference being one's six quarts, one's 10 quarts. So we're gonna focus on the 10 quart, which is our most popular model. Uh, it's constructed out of rotomolded plastic. Uh, it's incredibly strong, holds my weight when I stand on it, if you have a need to stand on your vacuum cleaner. Uh, the wall, or the, uh, the lid itself is a double wall construction. Unlike a lot of the competitors' products, it's a single injection molded, mm -hmm. um, very thin wall. So now, with the, with the injection molding, I, I, I notice it's much more brittle plastic. Correct. So, so the big difference with the roto molding is, is it's damn near indestructible. Absolutely. There's an inherent strength to the process that the bond is just stronger in the plastic mm -hmm. and you get a more robust product. Um, we build all of our products in Sandia out of this, so the, the, from the extractors um, and the hipster and, and the, um, the backpack bags. Now I notice, since we're on it, we might as well we'll touch upon it. When we talk about the roto molding, I notice it's got a really nice granite um, facade, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, we can make this in any color. Any color. We can. Uh, th that's the great thing about the uh, roto molded process. It, it gives us tremendous flexibility in the colors. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do it for a number of customers in their colors. So and you do private labeling as well. Yeah, we call it private branding, but absolutely. Very good. I'm learning. Um, the other thought I had was a lot of times something won't wear out, but it'll ugly out, like mm -hmm. a carpet for an example. Sure. I notice with the roto molding, when things get scratched or gouged or dirtied over years of time, uh, one of the benefits and features of, of our roto molding process is we can refire the uh, exterior and bring back the luster and the gloss once again. Absolutely. It was one of the most amazing things to me when I started was you'd see these machines come in that have seen wars out in the uh, field uh -huh. and they're coming just for regular service on the pump or whatever it may be but they're beat up they're scratched up from getting on sure. and off a truck and dirty and but when they leave here they look brand new uh, and again just the process that you're explaining any scratches all that goes away so um, the lid as I explained is a double walled construction so again very rigid very strong yet lightweight mm -hmm. uh, the hose is screws in and then in the finished products, they're actually siliconed in as well, so it's very now, what, secure. Now, what is your average brand X? Are, are, they, are they screwed in like that? No, nope. they have a friction mount that typically goes straight in the top. Mm -hmm. So theirs is, goes left or right, regardless of how you put the lid on, but it gives you, a, you basically have a very rigid vertical piece right behind your head, so the, the mm -hmm. cord has a tendency to hit you. Ours coming off at this nice soft angle, uh, wraps around your shoulder nicely, it gives you nice ease of use. You can go left or right, so depending it's interchangeable. On, absolutely, depending on how you attach it. Got it. Um, the other val the other benefit of having the angle here is that when it comes in, as opposed to coming straight in, mm -hmm. um, and let's say a paper clip, uh, the paper clip would, with a competitor's product would come straight in like a projectile and right down into the bottom of the bag, with the chance of piercing it. Uh, with ours, you have two things. You have one, the angle at which it's coming in, and then the deflector plate, which is designed into the lid itself. So it's going to take any velocity off of, a, of an object like that and prevent it from piercing the bag. Uh, another nice feature about ours is we have the powder-coated stainless steel latches. Mm -hmm. So virtually indestructible, give you a nice secure fit um, to ensure that the lid is on tight, whether it's on the top or on the bottom. Uh, when you use it as a blower, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Yeah, I noticed they snug down really effectively. Absolutely. It's a... Great, let me hold that for you. Thanks. Okay. So, and we'll work our way in. Uh, these are the first two stages of the uh, filtration. How many stages are there? It's a four-stage filtration system. Got it. So you're going to have the um, HEPA bag. So this is actually a HEPA filtration bag. Then you have the uh, filtration bag, which is you have to use this all the time. So these have to be used in conjunction. You can't use one or the other. You use them together uh, mm -hmm. to improve your filtration. Um, this step cutaway right is very effective, so this is nice that we have. It, it is. I mean, normally you'd be reaching in like this, 
uh, but we're going to go the easy way and just take it out like that. This is phase three of our filtration. This is a motor filter, so this will keep any mm -hmm. debris that does manage to get out out of your uh, motor. And stage four is right down here. It's your exhaust filter, so anything that gets through the motor uh, is going to get caught right there. So I'm going to set this down over here. Sure. Um, another thing to talk about here on the on the filter is this uh, bag support plate, and this is unique to Sandia in our backpacks. Uh, the thing, what the uh, bag support plate does, is when the bag is in here, it actually keeps the bag off of the motor. It still leaves a little airspace right down here, and because of this convex shape of the cavity, you allow airflow continuously to flow around the entire bag. So if you can imagine. The competitor's products are vertical, very straight up and down sides, tight to the bag. So when the bag fills up, it has a tendency to squeeze up against the side. Mm -hmm. As well as smother the motor. Absolutely. Yes. So you have two things going against you. You have reduced suction on the motor because the bag is sucking down onto the motor. You also and have wear and tear on those motors because they heat up. Sure. Okay. And then you have the bag on, on a competitor's product will bulge out. and so. With our bag, you're going to get 100% fill. You're going to mm -hmm. fill right up to the top. When you take that hose out, if you take it all the way, you're filled. Um, with the competitor's bags, we're typically seeing about a 75% fill at best. So it, it's, it's a tremendous feature, it's a tremendous benefit to your customer, uh, it's a great value add. So, uh, so with us, a 10 quart gets you a 10 quart fill. And with Brand X, oftentimes, even though we think in terms of 10 quart, we're really only getting six or seven. Correct. Maybe seven and a half max. Yep. Got it. Yep. So. Uh, another important feature to talk about on the outside of our machine here as we're working our way through it is the backrest itself. It's an ergonomic design. It has a uh, great contour to it. So as you're wearing a backpack, these typically are worn high on the back for comfort mm -hmm. and weight distribution. So this contour really helps. Competitors' products, straight up and down. And mm -hmm. Most people's backs aren't designed difference. that way. I also noticed it's got a really nice cushion in there. It's got a great cushion here. The pads themselves are well cushioned. Yeah, uh, very, you have very, a, very generous padding if you look at not only the shoulder straps but the hip. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You have a... Um, what do we refer to it as? Our cummerbund, if you will? You have a cummerbund on here as well. Uh-huh. That the cummerbund also has a little bit of a lumbar support to it. So it is giving great you a little... Point. I don't know if you guys can see that. But uh, really a uh, comfortable fit, especially when you're dealing with hours of production time. It exactly. makes a huge difference yep. on the operator. Adjustable straps for the uh, straps, as well as your chest strap, which gives you a little bit more support across the chest. Mm -hmm. uh, you have built-in carriers for all your tools. Smart. Yeah. So your tools are right at hand. They're kind of right at the back of you there. Mm -hmm. uh, the switch on our machine is actually built into the housing itself. So again, that roto-molded housing that we, we talked about, the strength and durability of it, mm -hmm. that's protecting your switch. Most competitors have their switch on a pigtail. We just that have... usually translates into a maintenance issue over time. Right. So Al, tell us about the plug protector. I, I think it's a fantastic uh, feature of this machine. It saves both uh, tearing out the plug from the machine as well as uh, wear and tear on the extension cord. Tell us about that. Absolutely. Our machines are, are pigtailed, so you don't have to lug around the, the extension cord every time you move it from, from one place to another. Um, but we have the plug protector on here, which my, my preference is to actually have the pigtail supported there. Mm -hmm. That way you're always ready. You don't have to worry about you know remembering to, to put something through there. And what it does is simply, as you explained, it takes the tension off of here. So this is nice and flexible here. You've got a nice loose curve, and then you can just um, connect it to your lead cord. Got it. Which we Got include it. a 50-foot a, a mm -hmm. bright yellow uh, safety lead cord. So Great. Now the beauty there is, is if for any reason you damage your cord, it gets stuck in a door, it gets cut, mm -hmm. uh, or it's lost, you can uh, go locally and replace it rather than being at the effect of having to special order Absolutely. a cord. Yeah, good. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, how about certification? What do we have here? Well, we uh, all of our products are made in the USA, and we're proud mm -hmm. to label them that way. Uh, we are CRI certified, which is uh, Carpet Rug Institute, mm -hmm. so it's a great honor for us to know that we're doing what the professionals need us to do. I guess the la last thing we need to talk about on this one is the uh, the versatility of it as a uh, low-speed blower. So, uh, where did we put the lid? You took it from me over here. I got it right here. So if you take out the, uh, the fourth stage of the filtration, which is the exhaust filter, 
and you take the lid and reattach it on the bottom. Reattach it on the bottom with those uh, powder coated stainless steel latches. Mm -hmm. What you end up with is a low speed blower. So now uh, imagine a, a movie theater or a large staircase. For popcorn and, on the floors and whatnot. You can start at the top, blow everything down to the bottom, and then you can sweep it all up down at the bottom. Yeah, like I know with us, we use it for some of the larger staircases at the hotels where you've got all the little dust and debris in the corners, and we just take it right sure. down the steps. Another good example would be like an elevator where you've got very limited time. You've got to get in, you've got to get out. So blow it out to the landing, let the elevator go. Excellent idea. Deal with it later. Yeah. It's a great tip. Great yeah. tip. In front of apartment buildings or entryways, it is versatile. Very yeah. good. So this is, uh, that's the Raven. Uh, it's by far uh, the best backpack in the industry. You know, a lot of people have said that they're going to teach you how to uh, clean faster, and we'll do it not only faster, but we'll do it better. Great. So. Well done. Now, in terms of tools that come along with this, I see here we've got a four-inch uh, upholstery, upholstery tool. tool. Absolutely. We've got the uh, horse here, and I notice the qualities are, are very good on the tools. Yep. These are great for cleaning out uh, vents, ceiling fans, anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's uh, stiff enough that it's going to remove the, the dust, uh, but gentle enough that it's not going to mar it. Great. Uh, the crevice tool, uh, used all kinds of places, down along the uh, baseboards. Mm -hmm. The carpet meets the baseboards. And uh, auto detailing is very popular. You know, get down Great. in between the, the seats and the upholstery. And then? You have your two-bend uh, aluminum uh, extension wand. I noticed, once again, just super, superior craftsmanship on this. Really well done. Absolutely. There's no Breaks play. Breaks down as well if you got to travel it. Yep. There's no play in that, that bar, so when you're, you're pushing it, you're not jiggling mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you also have your 14-inch uh, scallop tool. So mm -hmm. that's perfect for carpet or uh, hard surfaces. Or hard surface. Great. And I'm noticing now with this... Uh, this hose, once again, the quality of this is extraordinary, and I know, I mean, we might as well do it. You were talking about how strong this stuff oh, is, sure. but it's crush proof, yes? Absolutely. So, the hose itself, you can step on it all you want, and in the course yeah, I notice some of, some of the cheaper products from Brand X, the uh, hose is very brittle, non-flexible, uh, compared to this, just extraordinary. Absolutely. Are you really going to stand on that? Yeah, I've lost right. some weight. Go ahead, come on. An ounce or two. That's incredible. So yeah, so they 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 stand up. The other thing I noticed is when we look at the uh, superior craftsmanship, this roto molded cavity, whatnot for the uh, the uh, switch, mm -hmm. really protects it. Hopefully, this is uh, giving you some great insight as to why Sandia and. Uh, why, in terms of optimizing profitable performance, our 10-port uh, Raven is definitely the best way to go. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Hey, what we're going to do, Al, is I, I want to share with the folks exactly what the benefits and features of our uh, Raven backpack vacuum are. And my thought is, is we want to make it as interesting and as informative as possible. So I'd really like to represent sort of the end user, if you will, and. Uh, We'll call upon Al's expertise and give him as hard a time as possible to demonstrate to us why this is the premier backpack in the industry. So Al, you want to get started? Absolutely. Uh, well, as you're aware, we have a six quart and a 10 quart uh, backpack. Mm -hmm. Difference being one's six quarts, one's 10 quarts. So we're going to focus on the 10 quart, which is our most popular model. Uh, it's constructed out of roto molded plastic. Uh, it's incredibly strong, holds my weight when I stand on it if you have a need to stand on your vacuum cleaner. Uh, the wall, or the, uh, the lid itself is a double wall construction. Unlike a lot of the competitors' products, it's a single injection molded, mm -hmm. um, very thin wall. So now with the, with the injection molding, I, I, I notice it's much more brittle plastic. Correct. So, so the big difference with the roto molding is, is it's damn near indestructible. Absolutely. There's an inherent strength to the process that the bond is just stronger in the plastic mm -hmm. and you get a more robust.